This week, the team from Off the Beaten Track headed out to Utrecht Park for some awesome recovery, some stack sessions. Everybody was feeling it this weekend. So stay tuned and see the recoveries that took place this weekend. Utrecht Pat is about 30 minutes outside of Cape Town. This place is just the one of the top 4x4 places in the Western Cape with views of Cape Town. We headed out on a sunny morning. It was a bit cold. We were a mixed bunch of cars. Everybody got their liquor early, airing down to 1.4 bar, roughly. Uh, we had some coffee early in the morning, some jokes, some talking. We left in three different groups because there was quite a bit of cars. It was from your Mitsubishis to your Fords, to your Land Cruisers, to your Land Rovers, everybody was there. It's even an awesome place for the kids with quad bikes. We had our first water crossing, which wasn't too deep, we were a bit worried, but it was quite shallow. Luckily there wasn't too much torrential rain before we got there. such a liquor combination of water crossings with sand climbs. It's not every day you find this kind of tracks around in Cape Town. It's either normally sand or water, but yeah, you've got a mixture of both. I just couldn't resist doing a few donuts in the sand. Here we've got Anton with his Jimny, getting a bit of trouble coming out of the water up a steep climb. But as a good 4x4 enthusiast, he waded the water, checked the depth, and then made a decision.
Here yeah, we got Michael and Ruan going about 360s in the sand. Just love the pride that the guys have in the vehicles. Everybody loves their vehicle more than they love anything else. And the bashing that goes on behind the scenes. You've got the Ford guys, you've got the Hilux guys, you've got the Pajero guys. This thing just eases through the trails. Bring our own power line track here. Yeah. So I killed two birds with one stone. On the trail I found some time for a bit of romance. Love gives you the right to be free. You said be patient, just wait a little longer. But that's just it, oh, that's just Project Pad also has this amazing braai area under a lapa where everybody just gets together, has a braai, has a jaw, the kids are going boss. This was just a liquor place to halfway through the trail. We came back, we had a braai, we had something to drink, and then we hit the trails again. So if you're out here, there's enough for everybody to do. Kids, family, this is the place. And then Evan also had to just brand the place before we left. Yo, look at that. So your things start getting a bit difficult. He's got clearance, man. I was teasing because people were getting stuck, thinking I'm never going to get stuck. And lo and behold, I got stuck. stuck. As a shower! There we go, there we go. 
So this part was very difficult. This mud was extremely thick. But one most important thing I can just advise everybody. If you are winching or you are snatch snapping, use a recovery blanket. You guys don't realize how dangerous it is to do these recoveries without the proper equipment on your vehicle. So one thing is I advise everybody is always, even if you just use a wet towel or wet blanket or anything that you've got, a jacket even, that you throw over. So if it ever snaps, you're in a situation that the steel is not going to come flying back at your vehicle. Just as we were heading out, we got a call. Fortunately, that wasn't a snatched up, that snap it was a normal tow rope. Here we had Jason, he went into a water hole and some water actually got into his intake. Fortunately he switched off in time and he never got an airlock. Thanks to Jacques, he managed to get all the water out of the engine and he was on his way. Another stuck. So here we came across an Isuzu that was badly stuck in the mud. The water was up to the wheels. The mud just swallowed this vehicle in. We got Isuzu badly stuck. We're gonna winch him out now with a with another anchor point. We attempted to do a recovery with uh, my vehicle and an anchor point. Wasn't enough power. We needed a second winch to lift the Isuzu up and the first winch to actually pull him forward. We're not gonna do it with one winch. We're gonna need two winches. When you're winching and it's a really strong pull and you can feel your nose going down, even though you've got the recovery blanket over your winch strap, lift your bonnet so that if it ever snaps or anything goes wrong, you've got your bonnet protecting your windscreen and protecting you. Yeah, we got a guy laying on his side. Outrick part was amazing, but don't for a minute look at the cell and think it's easy. It might look easy on the outside, but the cell's got its twists and turns. On our way home, Jock had a tire bus on the side of the road. But we all made it home safely, we had fun, and we got stories to tell. Until next time, from the team at Off the Beaten Track.